Using masks in OBS is a great tool to be able to create any custom or unique shape that you can think of for any source or maybe even your webcam you have within OBS. And the great part is, is it's very easy to do and I'm gonna show you how in this video. So how does using an image mask in OBS actually work? Well, it's quite simple. All you'll need is an image mask file. Now, this isn't anything special. This is just a JPEG or a PNG that has black and white on it. Now, the way it works is OBS, whatever is white on that JPEG or PNG, it will show that in the source and anything that's black, it will hide that. So I'm actually gonna show you the best way to actually apply this image mask to your scene or to your camera to make sure that you can position it exactly the way you want it without rescaling the entire image mask, which is what I've seen a lot of people do and they get frustrated with. So basically the way you would normally default do it, which is not the way we're gonna do it, but you would add your, you know, your scene or your camera, you would right click, you would go to filters, you would go to the effects filters, you would add a uh, image mask, you would apply that mask to your camera. But the problem with this is that if you wanna go now and resize your camera, if you try and move that around, the masks moves with it, which is annoying because you know, say you wanted to try and position your camera in a certain way, or you want to position your gameplay in a certain way, you can't do that. So the best way to actually do it is we're going to create a separate scene specifically for our other webcam or our source. And then we're going to apply the mask to that scene. And then what that will do is it allow us to go back into the scene and reposition, you know, our gameplay or webcam, however we want to get it perfect. So the way we're going to do that is I'm going to go here and I'm going to create new scene. Um, you can call this webcam or whatever you want. And then once you put that in, add your webcam or your gameplay or whatever you want to, you know, eventually apply the mask to. We're not going to apply the mask within this scene. We're actually going to go back to our, our main uh, intermission screen or wherever you might want. Down the bottom here in sources, we're going to go add. And we're going to go add scene. You're going to scroll down and find your scene. So here I can see I've got my camera scene. I'm going to click that. Now, as you can see here, we've got it, you know, basically on, but we haven't got our image mask yet. So now what we want to do is we want to go down into the sources. We want to right click on the scene that we added. We want to go filters. And this is where we want to actually apply the image mask. So I'm going to go in here, find my image mask and apply that. Now, as you can see, the image mark has been applied, but my camera is still too big. This is where now we're going to go back to our original scene where we just added, you know, that camera with, you know, without the mask and stuff like that. And as you can see now, I can resize it and I can make it exactly the way I need uh, while the image mask is still, you know, um, not moving. But the great thing about this is that you can get as creative as you want and you don't have to just stop with shapes. You can even use gradients, um, you know, whatever you can kind of think of creatively, go wild, see what works and have fun with it. If you don't know where to start with these image mask templates, don't worry. I'm actually going to include five free templates for you guys in the description of this video. If you go down there, you can download it completely free, start having fun with it, muck around with it and see what works for you. Anyway, I hope this small tutorial has helped you guys. If it has, please consider subscribing. A lot of the time with these tutorials, most of the people that watch them actually haven't subscribed to my channel. And when you subscribe, it lets me know that you guys want to see more of this and that I can also help you out with, you know, more of this kind of streaming stuff and these tutorials. So feel free to subscribe to the channel. Also, I stream live here weekly on YouTube and I can help you guys out if you need any help. Feel free to come into my live stream or even come join the Discord if you like. I hope this helped you if you're looking at doing masks within OBS and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.